Okay, so next we'll discuss about uh, a problem which is called long, longest common substring and we'll solve it using dynamic programming. So basically, uh, longest common substring between two strings. So if we take string one and string two, we can see that there is a substring of BCD and BCD is over here in the string two also. And both of them are common. So there's this substring and this substring. There's another substring called EF and EF is over here. Both of them are in string one and string two, but the longest common substring is BCD. So we have to find the longest common substring, which is BCD out of this or the length of the longest common substring. So how we solve it is we basically create a two, uh, two by two matrix and uh, that will be length one plus for, uh, for each one of them. So the length of the matrix, we'll actually add one more to it. So we'll, we'll have one more. So basically this means, what this means is that this is the string first string and this is a blank blank uh, uh, word or a null. And this is a null for over here. So let's say if on the first string, we actually had a null. So the first string was null. If the first string was null and the second string was also null, the length of the common substring would be zero. If the first string is null and second string has just E, then the substring will also be zero because all of these will be zeros because this substring is basically a null. So all of them will be null. Okay, similarly, if the first string is A, B, C, D, E, F and the second string is just, just a null, then uh, in this case, it is zero. In this case also the length of the longest common substring will always be zero. Okay, so we have figured out if the string one is null, then all these uh, things will be zero. And if the, uh, if the first string, uh, first, uh, second string is null, then all these will be zero. Next, what we do is we start with this uh, one comma one. So we start with one comma one. So our i and j will start from one comma one. And then we'll say that, okay, if e and a, if the first string was a and the second string was e, do they match? They don't match. So we'll put a zero. So if they do not match, then that means that there is nothing happening. So the length of the substring will basically not be, no, uh, like the length of the substring will be zero because they haven't matched, even if the previous one have matched, right? So we'll check is, does A and B, uh, B and E match? No, they don't match. So we'll put a zero over here. What this means is if the first substring is, if the first string is A and B, and the second string has only E, then is there a common, a common substring? No, there's nothing. So we'll keep adding. So E, A, B, C, C and E don't match. So this is zero. E and D don't match. This is zero. E and E match. So when they match, what we will do is we will go diagonal up. We'll go diagonal up and then add one to it. Why? Because we'll, these two E and E matched. So E and E matched. Okay. And then we go diagonal up and then see what is the value over here. So value over here is zero, zero plus one, one. So what this means is that what was the common, uh, the common substring before this E was inside the first string and this E was in the second string. So the common in both of them was A, B, C, D and a blank. So the common was zero. So there was zero. So now we have matched. So that means this will be one. E and F don't match. So we put a zero. So if they don't match, we put a zero. Next, let's say if we have our F over here. So if we say our second string is E, F and this is A. So in that case, this is zero zero, zero, we'll continue doing this till we match. So F and F match. When F and F match, we will actually go one up, which is one, one plus one is two, which means that if our first string was A, B, C, D, E, F and second string was E and F, then the common substring was one and two. So the no, common string, substring was E and F and E and F. Okay, and the length was two. Okay, 
and we will actually keep keep a track of max length okay so the max length is 2 at this point uh, then what we'll do is we'll take b so b and a don't match b and b match so we'll go diagonal one up plus one so that is one and zero 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 with c zero zero c and c match so we go one up which is one one plus one is two and then zero 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 d they don't match this doesn't match this doesn't match d and d match so we'll go one diagonal up which is two two plus one is three so three is the biggest one so the longest maximum length will become three and then zero and zero so we know our maximum length is three so if we have a b c d e f and e f b c d the length of the common longest common substring is three which is signified over here if we want to actually get the value we can actually go either over here or over here and get go back three length of three so we go back one two three so which means the value was bcd we can either go over here or we can go here so bcd so that is longest common substring this is different from longest common subsequence so we'll actually do a longest common subsequence too okay now let's write some code for it